Hello my soccer universe. Well, we have quite some ground to cover. Four competitions uh, to talk about, always league and cup, although in Spain lo uh, not too much league action. And yes, I'm not gonna talk on this much about the Super Cup. Yes, Real Madrid won it, that's why I put them up there with the kind of goldenish uh, jersey. Uh, it is just uh, such a made-up comp competition and putting it to Saudi Arabia is for me reason enough to completely ig ignore it. And it's exemplified by having a final where neither the cup winner nor the champion from the last season is playing in what should be considered a friendly. So, there you go, Super Cup done. No, we're gonna talk a whole lot about cup com com competitions. We're also gonna talk uh, a little bit what happened in Liga Portugal. There was one La Liga game. And the upcoming fixture, especially in Spain, it's uh, a horrible scheduling overall. It's all tool to that friggin' Super Cup. I would say we start in Portugal and we had a cup round where, um, yeah, <laughs> it was a very interesting one. Um, we had one upset with Mafra beating Portimonense away from home 4-2. Uh, so this is a, a second league team. Uh, Sporting, no problem with Lesser. Um, Tondela beating Rio Ave. Uh, you know that Rio Ave was up there in overtime and Porto 3 1 over Vizela. What I am more uh, almost shocked is, of course, the semi final draw. And this will be in two legs played. We have Tondela against Mafra. <laughs> Green, yellow, a canary, uh, <laughs> um, semi semi final in a way. And then Sporting against Porto. Of course, the two best teams in Portugal uh, play each other in the semi final, but that will be some action. The only thing, I mean, I don't have the final uh, dates, but you see roughly when it will be played. And there is a m more than a month between those two legs, which is never a good thing. Uh, it kind of shows the importance of the cup comp competition. There could be some better planning uh, there. Uh, in the league, we had a makeup game between Famalicao and Belenenge. Um, and then uh, I think the biggest result was that Benfica uh, also could not win, where a Sporting won against Vizela and Porto, of course, win against Belenenge. So uh, it, it remains kind of the three point lead that Porto still very much have in the league in hand uh, there. Uh, they are the odds on fav fav favorites with a three point point lead being rated higher. Uh, so, yeah, as always, if you look at the port for table, look uh, how many teams are potentially in a relegation fight. Uh, yeah, from 10 down, I would say half of the league more or less is in a relegation uh, struggle. So, uh, it's just Bell and Ange really seem to be uh, struggling there. Um, moving forward, uh, we have. Uh, a pretty big game for Sporting Kamer against Braga, and you know, Braga is kind of this in between uh, team, so uh, that might be an interesting of Porto against Famalicao, despite being a local duel. I would not expect nothing else but a Porto win there. Okay, let's move on to Spain and talk Copa del Rey because that was that was quite that was quite one big 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 storyline, and I almost uh, was about to pull on the jersey and I said, nah, it doesn't uh, fit right. Um, in a La Liga duel, it was that Mallorca beat Espanyol 2-1. Uh, that was a kind of a remarkable result. Um, the last. Uh, not first tier team, uh, uh, Gijon got eliminated uh, in the penalty drill against Cadiz uh, and Rayo beat Girona, so those two are out. And then the big one, and the one that I actually, you know, a Copa del Rey at this stage, uh, unless there's a nice matchup, I might not be as interested, but a Seville Derby, yeah, we gotta uh, watch that one. And boy, was this an intense and great game on Saturday, as I said, it was going up and down, and I was. Well, Wow, they're really going at it with Betis actually being the slightly better team for most of the time. Uh, Papu Gomez giving Sevilla uh, with a great shot the lead, which didn't hold much long because uh, from a corner kick, uh, Nabil Fekir scores the equalizer. And I'm thinking this is the this is uh, this is totally worth watching. What a great game to have! And then some idiot threw a uh, pole, uh, a PVC pole, onto the pitch and hits uh, Jordan. Uh, lots of discussions. I mean, at first I thought he sh it just fell next to him, but you can see then in the river it really hit him on the head and he seemingly didn't feel he had a little bit of uh, concussion and so on. Didn't look good. 
uh, in that sense, but it was not uh, super hard. I mean, I, if this would, would have been a metal pole, this could have been uh, lethal. Now, the idiot that threw that needs to be uh, sought, af sought out and really uh, put behind bars or given a hefty fine and a life ban. Um, but I think, the, for me, what was happening after? I mean, there were, uh, you know, uh, Betis players accusing the severe stuff to tell uh, Hordan to lie down. It, it got very, very ugly. And I gotta say, I think that the, the decision to then finish the game without spectators the next day was did not seem like the right thing. I, I was actually so, so surprised when I heard, yeah, this is gonna be replayed, uh, uh, it's gonna be finished the next day. And then Betis actually uh, finishing and winning it. Um, by the way, those Betis special jerseys, they were already released last season, looked really, 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 really nice. I, I, I gotta say, but I couldn't find it anywhere, uh, because that, yeah, Betis got, uh, pulled out some really nice jerseys last season, I gotta say. But coming back to the decision and the punishment, I mean, um, playing behind closed doors doesn't seem fair because of, of one idiot, you lock out an entire stadium so this doesn't seem fair but it also doesn't seem fair to Sevilla I think if you wanna and similar to what I've said, I said already for a uh, frost um, I think the only thing is if some idiot throws so, so, so something uh, the team whose fan was throwing that forfeits the game I know it's also not fair but this is the only way to discourage such a behavior um, in my opinion so that's why I didn't really think, although I actually was a bit more for Betis because I think Betis play more excitingly than Sevilla do. Sevilla is the better team. But I have to say, whenever I watch Sevilla, I never find myself like, oh, this is a great team. Nah, it's actually a rather boring team that uh, wins a lot of games. Whereas Betis is a little bit more on the exciting side. So yeah, um, a big, 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 big talking point, of course, in Spain. Uh, overshadowing probably even the Super Cup in many ways. And at the end of February, we have uh, the return leg, if you like, with the Seville Derby playing at uh, Sevilla's home ground. Uh, Valencia then play against Atletico Baleares, and the round will be finished uh, with three of the with four of the teams that were in the Super Cup. Bilbao against Barcelona is a standard tie on Wednesday. Uh, Elche against Real Madrid and Real Sociedad against Atletico is also pretty in, in interesting. They might stagger the kickoffs there. I uh, have not actually uh, checked up on that. Maybe uh, let's check this here. Um, yeah, the night uh, they really have the 19th. We have Real Sociedad, Atletico, and then Elche, Real Madrid, and Atletico Bilbao against Bar Barcelona will correct um, that. Okay, then we had one La Liga game, which uh, was, of course, not Athletic Club against uh, Real Madrid, which was already playing in December. No, Elche beating Villarreal was a pretty big, big, big result because Villarreal were flying high and suddenly you lose to Elche. Huh. Most of the round will also be played. Uh, however, we see already Atletico Madrid has been pulled in February, Barcelona, uh, and, 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 and so on. Not yet, because, uh, you know, Barcelona and Real are playing the Europa League, so that we have to see when there will be time to play that one. But I think Valencia Sevilla on Wednesday sounds like a pretty cool game as well. So that was it for me from the Iberian Peninsula. Please drop a comment below if you want to add anything. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more. And I will talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there. I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you actually might enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel and hit the little bell so that you get updated whenever something happens in my soccer universe. And with that, have a wonderful day. Bye.